Hey guys, it's Gamer I'm back with another Call of Duty mobile video, and today the brand new Season 6 update has released. There is a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to try to go over everything um, that I found that's not in the patch notes, as well as what is in the patch notes, and I'll have some more videos um, after this kind of talking about the Thermite nerf in depth, what exactly changed, um, which I already have the stats for, which is, just the short story is, it's very good now, as in like, much deserved nerf, 100%. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you guys can notice, obviously, is the zombies mode. So it, I know it says limited, and that's because the devs said that any sort of mode they put in Call of Duty Mobile, they will consider it limited until it's, like, known that it's popular. So if it's very, very popular with the community, then, they're, of course, they're going to keep it as a permanent mode. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But zombies itself, the siege mode, will come out July 31st at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll probably have some other time zones here on the screen, but uh, yeah, just be ready for that. Lots of cool stuff is uh, about to happen. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is the settings. There is a lot of new additions in here, which I absolutely love. So uh, first off, in the custom layout, very minor, but you're able to now hide the Call of Duty Mobile logo, so you can move it if you want it or just hide it all together, um, which is great. Um, there is now the zombies. Undead Siege uh, HUD you can now mess with before it comes out uh, this weekend. So keep that in mind. Uh, basic, there are a few new things. So there is the Perspective Teammate. And basically this won't be available for low-end devices, but for mid to high. Basically what that does is it creates a see-through uh, for your teammates. So basically you'll see teammates through walls. There'll be like this blue kind of highlight, uh, which is nice just to better see their position and stuff. Um, you can now switch your throwable buttons. Um, so now instead of one button that can, you know, you can switch between throwables, you now have two, which is awesome. A uh, slide hint, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is just if you're sprinting, your crouch button will turn into like a slide button. So it'll kind of just give you a hint that that's what it does when you're sprinting. Um, and then you have the one tap weapon switch button. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically pay takes your uh, two weapon buttons into one. It's great for uh, some people who would like that. Uh, you're not able to change the camera FOV max from 75 to 90 now, which is awesome. So I'm definitely going to keep it at 90. Just makes things look a lot faster, just better for me, honestly. And then if you scroll all the way at the bottom, there's now a mini map settings, which is awesome. I actually really, really like this. So basically, you're able to change the scale of it, um, the opacity, which you, you are already able to do in the custom layout. But you're also able to change the zoom, the weapon icon, which will change just the icon um of you and you know all those arrows um you can make it rotate or not if you want the player in the center uh as well as call outs just at the bottom it'll show kind of like where you are in the map so there's that pretty cool stuff um same thing here there's also an auto expand wingsuit for br uh same thing with prospective teammates um and yeah pretty nice stuff it's also zombies as well if you guys want to check that out um, but yeah, that's definitely going to go to 90 FOV for sure. Uh, next is audio and graphics. So for this one, uh, frame rate, uh, is now ultra for the M1 iPad Pro, which I will be switching to very soon. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't think any of these really changed. I mean, they might have added some extra settings you can kind of turn off if you'd like. Um, audio seems to be the same. Effects. This one is really, really cool. So this was brought over from the Chinese version of the game. Now that, that that and the global have kind of combined, they'll now be sharing settings and certain features. So for this one, you're actually able to change the effect style of your hits. You can keep it the blood, but I kind of like the classic flare and I'll leave it at blue. Uh, you can also change uh, where you get hits, the little icons that show up. I'm gonna keep that blue as well. And then there's also a camera shake setting, uh, which is interesting that they would allow that. So you, I turn that off, it's automatically on. I would turn that off if I were you. Um, just so your screen doesn't shake when you get just explosions everywhere. Uh, sensitivity, you're now able to upload it and save it to the cloud, which is awesome. So I already did that. Um, very, very cool. Um, and speaking of sensitivity, they did fix the marks and rifle sensitivity. So basically there was some sort of bug with iron sights, uh, or just marks and rifles in general with sensitivity, sensitivity wise. Don't know why, but that's not fixed. Um, BR and zombies here as well. That's nice. Uh, BR settings. Uh, I believe this is new. The loot settings. I don't remember it being this so detailed. Uh, where it auto picks up specific, you know, scopes that you wanted to or certain, you know, things. 
So there's that. Uh, vehicle settings, you're now able to customize and you know change the size, move it, all you want for BR vehicles. Thank God, I need to do that, 100%, really need to. Um, so there's that, and then quick message, I don't really mess with this stuff, so I don't really know, but that's it for these settings. Uh, another thing that I want to show you guys is in the friends list. If you go to the friends list and you go ahead, there is now a new button, uh, which is a, a little gift. So if you tap that, it'll take you to here. I don't believe it works right now. I think what it will do is that you're able to gift battle passes to people. So I think starting the next battle pass, which is tomorrow, actually tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, um, is when you'll be able to unlock it. So I think maybe that way uh, YouTubers can kind of do giveaways, I guess, and gift it, which is very nice. Straight into the loadouts here, uh, you guys can see you can now change score streaks per class, which is awesome. Uh, on top of that, there are new guns. There is the brand new MX-9, which is from Black Ops 4. And since it's using the Modern Warfare attachment system, they basically, I believe they're taking the attachment system or the attachment kind of stats from Cold War and kind of integrating it into the attachment system here with these guns. So that's kind of nice. So there's that as well as there is a new sniper. The Riot Tech AMR, which I'm not really too fond of from the gameplay I've seen. It's just really, really slow. Um, it might be good for BR, though. Who knows? Uh, but those will be available, uh, I believe, the Riot Tech somewhere in the future. And the MX-9 will be in the Battle Pass. So, super, super exciting stuff. On top of that, there is also a brand new Operator skill, which will come out uh, pretty soon. The Kinetic Armor, uh, which will basically give you an extra uh, somewhat amount of uh, health. I believe it's like 150, I think will give you except it does not protect the head so that's just straight from black ops 3 which is nice uh in terms of grenades there's no new grenades but there is a new tactical um so this was a shield ball in the test server but now it's called the storm ball and basically what this does is it's basically a type of smoke it'll you can place it via pad and it'll put some sort of like bubble around an area so you're not able to see through it but you can go through it and if you can shoot through it as well um yeah, that's kind of interesting. That I don't think that's ever been in any other COD that I know of. And then in terms of perks, uh, they do have one new perk, Marty Dome. So drop a live grenade upon death. I don't know when that's going to come out. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, no idea why they, they added, added that, but okay. As for secondaries, they did add two new melee weapons, the wrench as well as the machete. So that's very nice uh, if you guys want to get those in sometime in the future. There's also a new score streak, the Swarm. Um, so basically it calls in a swarm of 100 kilo drones. Now, it's not nearly as crazy as it was in Black Ops 2. This, I believe, just sends out just four, I think, 100 kilo drones. So you can get max, I think, like four kills. In Black Ops 2, man, you can kill the entire team like three times over with that. So it used to be insane. But now I guess they nerfed it really, really hard for this game. So there's that. On top of that, there will be a new ranked season, which I believe it will have another uh, rank other than legendary. It'll be higher. It'll be some sort of, I, th I think in the Chinese version, it was called God of War. And it was like, you had to have 10,000 rank points or more to get that, I believe. So that should be coming. And that'll start, it says in two days here is the next series. Uh, I did also notice in the maps, um, Sudo Harbor is now in ranked don't know why but uh that's interesting now aside from all that i've shown you there is also the brand new map slums which is coming from black ops 2 uh there's also stack from modern warfare which is going to be a gunfight and dual map um there's also going to be a new mode called face off which is a 3v3 mode so it's going to be 3v3 tdm dom kill confirm and ctf on the kind of small gunfight maps which is awesome uh in terms of buffs and nerfs uh basically drh got uh a good amount of buffs um, to its OTM mag, uh, which is very nice. The AK-117 got a buff as well, um, which I'll put on screen here. Just a bunch of good stuff for it. Uh, the MK-2 also got a slight buff. Uh, the Striker got a buff. Uh, it should be interesting to see. Uh, Hawk X-3 got a nerf, so decrease the duration and reduce the flying speed, which is good because that thing freaking zoomed so fast um other nerfs include the thermite so uh i know what it says in here but i'll have another video just talking about specifically what they did to it um the axe and bat got a nerf to the damage range and the time uh, to land a hit thank god thank you um and then the sickle that got a buff it got a damage range so that's very nice in terms uh anything else basically just a bunch of optimizations um 
and yeah pretty uh pretty much uh that's it uh oh also um if you're using an operator skill and you've had moments where you press it but then you die like as you're pressing it and then you spawn back and you don't have it that's now been changed so now if you like just press it and someone kills you you'll have it ready to go again um if you just press it and it's like maybe a second after you have it out and someone kills you you'll get i think a good amount of energy back for that so um that's nice that's just like how it was in uh, black ops 3 and uh yeah that's it for that uh another thing is that the camos have been tweaked so the gold camo now looks a bit nicer uh i mean definitely yeah that's that's gold like straight up gold um they also did some changes to the platinum which uh to be honest i'm not really a fan of like it doesn't look platinum it just kind of looks bland um there's that the mask has got to change as well i believe just a little bit i'm still not a fan of that uh, diamond now goes over attachments apparently um as i was told but i don't see it here so uh that's interesting and then there is the brand new aether crystal camo which now has uh text of how to unlock it so basically you get 50 zombie kills in a completed undead siege hard mode six times which doesn't seem that hard honestly it really doesn't seem that hard depends how insane that mode is going to be but uh yeah that's very nice I wonder maybe, maybe if they added a maybe a surprise if you unlock Aether Crystal on every gun in the game. Who knows? I'm sure someone will do it. But uh, there's that. Another thing is that while you're in a class, whatever attachments you put on the gun, there's now a new button on the top right here. If you press it, it will show the overall attributes for the weapon of what you did to it. So that's really nice. There's also some new rewards in the Lucky Board if you guys uh, take advantage of that. Um, so there's now a new character skin, which is interesting, uh, as well as a new DRH skin. So very, very nice. <coughs> okay, so that is pretty much all the things that I could find, or that's just at the top of my head and on the patch notes. Um, so far, update is pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very good. I'm very happy with uh, what they did with this update. I uh, can't wait till Zombies, which again will come out on the 31st at 7 p.m. Central. Um, so a lot of good stuff. Can't wait to get into it. Uh, I'll have some more gameplay guys and some more videos in the future. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.